Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we are trying the Nika coffee gin. A few weeks ago we already had the Nika coffee whiskey, but now we're having the gin. And for all of you who are just tuning in, this has nothing to do with coffee as in the brown juice you drink in the morning to get up properly. Yeah, it has nothing to do with coffee. Coffee beans are not inside the recipe. This is because the Nikka distillery has coffee stills. And yeah, coffee stills are kind of like fractional distillation, huge column stills on top of each other with a lot of layers that um, yeah, prevent the, the vapors to rising too fast and uh, the flowing down too fast so they can separate pretty good in terms of their densities and therefore you can separate the alcohol from the water and the lighter alcohols from the heavier alcohols and the oiliness and mm, you can all tune it very nicely. So this must come from the Miyagikyo distillery of Nika that is in the region of Sendai in the prefecture of Fukushima and yeah so they do um, a gin so they can probably produce their own neutral alcohol in their big stills or maybe they just buy it from somewhere else because neutral alcohol Let's face it, it's neutral. And you can buy it from anywhere, it tastes all the same. So, and then they can produce their gin with adding a lot of nice botanicals. Yeah, what they do add is uh, juniper, angelica root, coriander, Japanese citrus fruits like yutsu. So they have different citrus fruits, but probably a lot of yutsu in there. Kabozu and amandasu. Yeah, they are really, yeah fruits in there at you know, Japanese. I think Japanese fruits are there, but I have not quite the idea of that. Unfortunately, I've been in there in 2016, so I couldn't really like question them a lot because they started with a gin in 2017. I would have loved to talk about them with about the Nika gin and all about their botanicals, because usually when uh, someone makes gin, they are really proud of their botanicals. Because, yeah, botanicals, let's face it, gin lives from the botanicals. It's really strange how, how gin must have been in the old days as gin back in the days before the new western dry gins or the new western gins uh, is that they that they only had the taste of juniper. They always had where with classical and some of them adding a bit of citrus was then ooh, very fancy. But now with all the new Western dry, which well, this one is a Western dry gin, no added sugar. Or is it, does it say anything about that? Oh, it just says gin. Oh, it could be, could be any, could be anything, but I guess they do a dry gin. Usually they do. Ooh. Very fresh, very fresh, and very, very fruity. And herbs, a lot of herbs. It feels very green. Oh, feels feels like you walk through a through a yeah herb garden of let's say a good hotel or restaurant. I've been to a good hotel with a, a restaurant that had a herb garden, and you could mm, some in the in the morning you could see see the chef going out there and cutting some stuff. <laughs> oh. mm. Mm. Oh, this is an intense one. 47% ABV, uh -huh. but you have a good amount of that yutsu, a lot of citrusy notes, a lot of fruity notes, fresh fruity notes, green apple. Yeah, a little bit of a herb spicy note, more of a herb note than a spicy note uh, in there. Mm, I like it. Uh. Mm. Mm. This is an intense one. I didn't expect that. I expected more of a, a whiskey that is, um, yeah, lighter, well balanced. This is intense, straightforward um, juniper together with citrus and herbs. Mm -hmm. But I do like it. 
yeah here on the back you see the coffee stills and when you come to Miyagikyu you see tall buildings and in these tall buildings they are especially built for these coffee stills because you want tall buildings for a tall a coffee skill ha still has a good amount of separation between the alcohol you can connect a coffee still from the top to the bottom of a neck still and it functions like the other one is on top but you don't want to do that uh, too often because it has efficiency drawbacks mm. okay so let's have a look this is a mm, a herbie and uh a fruity one so i guess i would go for the 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 lighter one the ambition because it it feels like one that uh that is very really light and wants to be enhanced with that so you have a a nice light summer fruitiness in there mm. Ooh. <laughs> it feels a bit soapy it, that, that sounds like really bad but it uh, has that that nice citrusy touch the juniper is really getting into the background but uh, then it feels i don't know if soapy is the right word bird but Strange enough, soapy in a good way. <laughs> soapy in a good way. It reminds me just of my childhood. Like lemonade and uh, when hot summer lemonade and what what are these big bubbles called? The uh, siphon soap bubbles. And <laughs> then when a soap bubble explodes, you just have a bit of taste and you just go ah, <laughs> and then have a bit of taste of soap in your mouth. And that's what it feels like. It just really reminds me of my childhood. Mm. strange there are there are herbs that have a bit of a, a soapy touch to it um, usually uh, coriander many people have say that it has a bit of a um, washing liquid you know when you hand wash this washing liquid taste to it some people say that I do like coriander usually what they do is they add coriander seeds this year actually feels like a bit coriander leaves Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah through the magic of getting two of them <laughs> i love this channel and uh i do have another glass because i'm not quite sure if it's mm, it might not also be good with the um yeah with the signature a bit more more as a, a spicy more hefty um hefty kind of tonic Mm, not very very unsorted my table with all that glasses and all that stuff on it so let's have a look how a spicier tonic is working together with a Nikia coffee gin not as well it has a ooh a spicier touch to it but it develops a bit of for me it develops a bit of bitterness and you do have the soapy touch but it doesn't feel good because uh yeah it, has, it, it loses a lot of that freshness citrus touch to it and you're left with a bit of a bitterness spiciness and uh, for me it just doesn't feel like a summer lemonade so it works very well in uh, one of these fresh summer tonics that are really citrusy and have a a nice touch to it and don't be alarmed with that uh, that i said soapy touch to it um i would rather go for a coriander touch to it yeah so that was my take to the nika coffee gin thank you very much for watching and see you next time <laughs>